Billy D here with your weekly buzz with a really good friend of mine, Roberto Monaco. We just did a video, the five reasons your speaking sucks. Can we call it? <laughs> yeah, you're a good copywriter, man. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I like that. I like that's that. That's the best way to put it. I mean, I can flower it up and make it so <laughs> That's why some people suck. Right? I love it. I okay. love it. Hey, I used to suck too, so it's all good. Dude, I swear <laughs> I, that's what my talk is at Caltam is how bad I suck. By the way, your fact, talk this year is just insane. Love it. All right, good, good. I love it. All right. Just, I got to try to keep it on the track. Yeah. So. <laughs> Sometimes the, the train wants to come off the track. It's come like, here, oh, come shit. here, come here. He dropped an F bomb. Oh, no. <laughs> Now I hate everything he says. <laughs> All right, mm. we're having too much fun. All right, so I want your influence all these problems. Yep. Anybody that is in any form of business that does speaking, which I, to me, I think chiropractic, the best way to, to, I mean, we say the word build a practice, but it's really to change your community and, and just save lives, is through speaking. I believe that too. I mean, there's nothing more where you can go get more peeps in, in, the, in the least amount of time. And I mean, like I, I, I said, I used to be terrified to speak. And Which is really hard to believe that. Dude, I used to be a pussy, a little tiny kitty cat, <laughs> kind of like afraid of my own shadow. So what was the transformation between being afraid of speaking and now cannot wait to speak and share? Well, that's my Cal Jam talk. But that's the something <laughs> after Cal Jam. Anyways. Good. Uh, it was the fact that I owned it here. Okay. It's just I, there was so much information that I had to really communicate to people, and again, I, you can do it one on one, or you can do it in massive settings. So anyway, now we're you know we're gonna have three thousand people at an event coming up, or we added at the event. And it's like this is in our visions to take it to bigger and bigger venues. So you know we're not just talking to three thousand; we're talking to twenty five thousand, fifty thousand. We'll get there. It just takes time, you know, but. The other thing I wanted to mention is that you taught me one trick last year. We went to sushi. Oh, yeah. And that was a trick about how to close properly. And literally, I went and applied that one thing you like, and I just go, shit, that stuff <laughs> works. Do you want to explain to him the trick you taught me? Well, what happened? Remember what it was? Was to create a compelling offer. Right. Yeah, exactly. So what happened was that most people. Well, the several steps in a close, specifically, I want to give a couple of pointers here. When you, if let's say you're in a community. And see, again, people have this, and I don't want to interrupt you, but it, people have this vision that close is a bad word. Cl closing for me was getting them to the most transformational event on the planet, which yes. happens to be CalJam. Closing people in your practice is literally reaching in and saving their lives and their kids' lives and their family lives from just the, the BS that's going on. So close, I don't know why... I always had this negative connotation of it too. It's it's basically what you're doing is you're getting them to take action to literally change their That's lives. That's it. That is the, the most important part of a talk. And you got to be able to change the energy from not liking closing to actually become your favorite part of closing. Number one, you got to understand what it is. Exactly what you said. It's about mm -hmm. saving people's lives. And the second thing that you got to do is rehearse several times. Most people don't spend time rehearsing their, the, if you don't want to use the word close, the last part of your talk. Specifically, I, in Cal Jam, we develop a, a killer compelling offer to give a reason why they should sign up right now. Because people say, okay, and, and I see this all the time, but look, I personally reveal my job is not too sexy. When people think of oh, speaking sexy, no, my job, I'm a speaking coach, so people send me these videos, an hour long videos. And I have to I review <laughs> an hour. So I, re I review like doctor's report and dinners. I mean, every day. And some doctors go before so I work with this. Goes, look, my care is if you go to my office today, it's two hundred bucks for X-rays exams today, fifty. Why? Why you're doing this? I mean, why? So they don't explain why you're doing today because if you don't have urgency, if you don't feel urgency, another word that people like to use, urgency, not pressure, urgency. Guess what? they are not going to have urgency to act. And urgency comes from purpose. When you're like, dude, I know once we enroll, once when you enroll, you're going to be just like the family, right? The, the, the lady who could not get pregnant, now she is because she came and she's under my care. And it's just going to be like that. And you see yourself super excited, right? Urgency. Going back to your question about Cal Jam, what we did, we, you had Cal Jam tickets was X amount, remember? Right. 
and then we say today is gonna be X. Uh, we're gonna have a, like a little 50 bucks off, off. Yeah. and then you offer a bonus and people are like oh I like this bonus thing right. and then was out of control successful right. it was like the first time I did I go I remember you called me you're like dude I can't believe it, it was like <laughs> I don't remember the numbers but I would say like 30 out of a 37 or something like that I was like cannot believe it I was like right, yeah right. these little strategies work why because Cal Jam he has a purpose the guys are in a mission to change the planet and he has no hesitation no fear uncertainty, doubt, anxiety to offer the next step because there's always a next step. Always a next step. Now, how did you ever get into this whole speaking thing? Was it, for, you said you worked with Tony Robbins. Yes. I used to work, I used to be a banker, believe it or not. You? Yeah, I work in a Banco do Brasil. Brazil. I did. I'm Brazilian. My accent's not fake. I can speak without accent. You want to see? Yeah. Talk like an American. Okay. I'm going to talk like okay. Hi, my name is Roberto Monaco. How are you doing today? That's pretty good. Dude. Is it good? Yeah, yeah. it's not very sexy though. No. <laughs> so I so I work in a bank. Did you count money and shit? Like there are all kinds of stuff. Working a nothing. I had a BA in finance. I mean and remember literally I got my degree one day and I look up to the top of the bank. There's hundred and sixty thousand people. And I'm like, if I work really in hard bank? in a bank, this is the biggest bank in South America. 160,000. It's like a city. Dude, but not one, just one branch all over the country, right? Okay, Brazil. Okay, okay. And then I say, if I work the next 30 years, do I want to be like the president of the bank? That's the, the highest rank. I'm like, no. So I quit. And then I started traveling. And then I came in here to America to learn English 20 years ago. And one day, check this out. I'm here in Pacific Beach. I literally have a book, my dictionary, and I'm translating word by word. And I, I read this question that changed my life. This question from 20 years ago is the reason we are here hanging out mm -hmm. and talking to you today. The question said, if I could do anything in my life and I knew I could not fail, what would I be doing today right here, right now? No BS, no law of attraction stuff because I don't believe in law of attraction. I believe in the law of action. Yes. Us. God. Yes. Right. Ugh. Like get off your ass and yeah. do something. That's it. Law of action. <laughs> we believe that. And then I'm like, you know, I didn't know. So I went to this, this lot of soul searching. And eventually, I realized I was going to become a speaker, a coach, a mentor. Because growing up in Brazil, I was the guy that my buddies came in and said, hey, man, I don't have a problem with stock. I'm like, okay. I was like being positive and inspire people. You have a problem with your what? No. People came to me when they had a problem. And they say, hey, man. Oh, they're stuck. Yeah, and they're stuck. So I'm giving solutions. And eventually realized I can have a career coaching people and training. So I applied to the Anthony Robbins company and that was super funny because the manager at the time said man you have a you have a lot of energy and you have this thick accent I don't know if you're gonna be able I don't know if you're gonna be able to speak and I said look man obviously English is my third language when I went to Brazil I studied Portuguese Spanish and then third language English I'm not gonna be your best speaker I will be your number one influencer though and I did my job was to sell tickets to the unleash the power within. Some of you have been to this event before. And just like chiropractors go, let's say, to a corporation, do a health talk, or you do a dinner, and you quote unquote promote uh, an x ray, an appointment, a consultation, mm -hmm. I was selling Tony Robbins tickets. And I became very successful at it. And after six amazing years, I opened up Influenceology with my business partner, Jeff Perrell. And how did you get into this chiropractic niche? I love it. One of our friends in common, Garrett Gunnison. Yeah. Garrett called me. I've been coaching Garrett for three years. I love Garrett. Awesome guy. He's got great energy too. Awesome. Yeah. So he called me up and said, hey man, you got to be helping chiropractors. I'm like, why chiropractors? I, did, I didn't know anything about chiropractic. That was like three years ago. Man, they're speaking all the time. I'm like, really? And then he introduced me to Dr. Zeno. Chris Zeno. And he's an awesome chiropractor too. This is amazing. And then I started watching the dinner, the hours, the hours, the hours, and then it was like life changed for me. Because after I watched three times his doctor's report, he goes, he said this, his, his line is amazing. He said, how many times do you have to watch my doctor's report until you find yourself a chiropractor? <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> that's it. Who is your chiropractor? Dr. Ryan Hummel. Okay. In that's San Diego. Yeah. So anyway, it has been three amazing years. And since then, I have helped, I don't know, hundreds of chiropractors, not only through our classes, but to specialize in build up, build up like killer dinners, 
report of findings in groups, video marketing, and stress talks. Because I combine 11 years of public speaking coaching training, one angle, and influence with all these clients that I, I probably, in the country right now, I'm the number one guy who see most chiropractor stocks ever. You name it, man. I'm a, I'm no, a, no, I don't know how you do it. I mean, like, they're sending me videos. I'm like, every day, three, four hours. Every day? Tells me who does that. I don't know. So here's what's great about it. I'm always, always okay, taking... you got adjusted right before this. I did. Yeah, by Samurai. Yeah, that was yeah. amazing. So you even said that. You just, you get connected. Oh, it's crazy. I love it. I love it. It's like a high. And, and, you know, you know what's crazy about chiropractic and my lack of awareness in the past? I used to have a chiropractor, still have it, in the place where I live, two minutes walking. I mean, not driving, walking. So out of my couch, elevator, go down, there's a chiropractic office. And for three years, I'm passing by and chiropractor, hmm, chiropractor, okay, mm, chiropractor. Nobody goes, dude, wake up, wake up. And then until three years, now I'm going to chiropractor, I drive 15 minutes, right? Dr. Ryan Hummel, which I love, is a great chiropractor. But the point is that is I want- to Cal Jam? Yeah, of course. Okay, yes. okay. I want to inspire you to get a message out there because, look, the majority of people have no idea what chiropractic is and the benefit and the impact it has on someone's life. Obviously, your patients do, but the majority of people just don't know, have no clue. I mean, no clue. So I'm not saying here in video that communication is more important than adjusting. I'm not going to say that. I think they're both equal. But I mean, you know, here's the deal. I've said this so many times, and even BJ said it, it's more important they get the big idea than yeah. they get adjusted. Yeah. So like, because if they don't get the big idea, they're not sticking around. That's it. So yeah, you were. So I would say it's right there. So I'm, I'm all about because obviously I struggled with communication in my in my career before, and now after 4,000 live talks, I love it. The same thing like when you adjust someone, and someone goes like, "Wow, there's almost like a breakthrough." You like, dude, I cannot believe it. Right. Power's on. I love to do that with my clients in speaking. When someone, I had a one story that I'm gonna share here quickly. So I have this doctor. Then we can go eat. Yes. Okay. So he's like, <laughs> he's American guy. He he learned Spanish, and he built up a practice in in Espanol. True story in Utah, and he never done a dinner. So his first dinner he did, 10% closing. So one coaching call 30. Second coach call 50. Third coach call 88 conversion, and now he has a presentation that converts 88% in average, give it and take. Yeah. Life-changing. So like, wow, I can do that. Speaking is like riding a bike. Everybody can learn how to do that. Everybody, everybody, everybody. So, all right. And you're gonna be at the DCS Clubhouse. Yes. You're gonna be our first gig of the year. Love that. April 15th. You know what are you gonna, gonna do? Solo. I love it. And what are you gonna bring that Dude, night? It's gonna be insane. I'm telling you, insane. I know it will be insane. I'm gonna be in the front row taking the The Cairo. Time. The Cairo Advocate, how to transform your story into even more patience, profits, and purpose, even more. I'm gonna talk about four things, how many? Four. Number one, how to overcome this fear, uncertainty, and that anxiety. We, we, we have to deal with that. Number that, two. I think that's the biggest reason guys don't do it. We're gonna address that. Number two, hold me accountable. I'm gonna give you step by step one, two, three, four, five, all the steps for you to create a killer lecture in your office. Killer. So just do, copy my stuff and do it. Killer. That converts. And you can use the, the framework, the structure. If you're going to do dinners, if you're going to do group report of findings, it's going to be insane. I want to learn that. Number three. Okay. Delivery. How to deliver your message with charisma? Because delivery is like this. Do you like pizza? No, you don't like pizza. Do you do some, eat pizza sometimes? Yeah, I see. It. Sometimes. Not very it's not very healthy. No. You want to keep the figure here, I right? Like to eat Surfing. That. I don't like dough. Otherwise, you're going to go long boards. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Too much pizza. No more short board. So here's the idea. Let's say you like pizza and you order your favorite pepperoni pizza. And now it's three hours late. I'm like, three hours late. You open up the box. The pizza is there. See, you can have amazing content, but the delivery is off. Yep. So you can have a, amazing content, your message, but you gotta be able to communicate your delivery be killer. I wanna teach some ideas on that realm as well. And the fourth thing we're gonna be covering are influence strategies so that once you have a killer psychology confidence, 
you have the structure, you can deliver your message, charisma, and influence. I'm gonna teach you some ninja stuff, like go like this, ninja, ninja, so that you can increase your conversion ratio. So it's gonna be 90 minutes packed. You can do two hours. I can do two hours. Let's do yeah. two hours. I, I was at your program. Two hours. Uh, for 30 hours. I can do two hours. Yeah. I remember 30 hours. Now, this program could also be utilized by other people other than chiropractors. Of course. Okay, right. So it's anybody that's trying to make influence people. Anybody who has a desire to either A, get your message, communicate to one person, 10, 20, 1,000 through right. video, right. webinar. Right. Come here. It's going right. to be killer. All two right. hours. And then you have a website. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell them? Influenceology.com. 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 And when is your next San Diego, or when do you, do you have another seminar coming up? I have four more events this year. Four more. When? Influencing. When's always the next influencing one? from the front.com. May. We have one in May. May what? We have one in May. We have one in July. We have one in September and one in November. Okay, what's the date of the May one in May? I really don't remember. See, he doesn't know. Go to his website, I'm sure. Well, Einstein said that. If you know how to, where to get the information, you should memorize it, right? Einstein said that. If you know where to find information, you should not take space in your brain. So that, I'm just following Einstein advice. Who's? Albert. Einstein. Yeah. Okay. That's good, huh? Yeah, that's good. good you know what he said? I, yeah. Because if you know where to find information, you don't want to, you know. Well, I was just telling you. Now, you know. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. But go to his website. Go know. to influencerology.com. Next event in May is be killer. Let's go get some sushi. Boom. Thank All you. Right, thank you. See this you. here for Roberto, everybody. Can we have a little drum roll? Oh, yes. Clap. Thank you very much. See you on the flip side. Buddy. Thank you. This video is sponsored by my friends over at mychiropractice.com. Custom branding and web design for successful chiropractors. I love these dudes because they're raising the image of chiropractic. And I really thank them for supporting all of our videos. Rock and roll.